We are one more day closer to commemorating and celebrating the birth of Jesus, whose life way back then and whose living spirit with us now demonstrates how the grace of unconditional love emanating from the very nature of God brings healing and peace between people when they learn to be of that same spirit with each other. Hear the biblical words ascribed to Jesus in answering a question by Peter, his disciple. Jesus' words to Peter are one of God's gifts to us all if we take them to our hearts and practice them. Hear now the message about unconditional love. The Gospel of Matthew 18, verse 21 and 22. Then Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? And Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy-seven times. May God help us to follow his example. Hey, Bev, what you doing? She's checking out our neighbors. Don't you do that too? Shh. Oh, she's a peeping Bev. Okay, enough. You said Jesus was on his way. So I was just looking down the street to, you know, to spot him as soon as he came into view. I did not mean he'd be walking down the street, Bev. He's driving? I thought he walked everywhere. Except for that time he rode on his donkey. Oh yeah. Palm Sunday or something. Mm -hmm. But you know, in today's time, that may upset those animal rights people. <laughs> Listen, you two, it's Advent, the period in Christian history leading up to Christmas, Jesus' birth. Ah, you meant Jesus' birthday. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm glad we cleared that up because I only made enough food for one guest, Bev. So at least now I have two more weeks to get prepared. Not easy with this raging mm. pandemic. Wait, wait, wait. What are you two talking about here? Um, it's our Lord and Savior's birthday, and he's chosen to spend it with us. I have lots to do to get this house ready and get myself a new outfit, too. Uh, um, uh, could I get an invitation? I mean, I already have a new outfit, and I'm... Um, I could help you prepare. Folks, I need to explain something here. You're all wrong. Can it wait until we have at least planned the menu? The menu has already been planned, Bev, according to scripture. Huh? Look, Advent is the season before Christmas, four Sundays, where we celebrate the coming of Jesus' life, the light of the world. We have four main themes during the Advent season. Hope, which is sure need. Peace, we need, we need that too. Joy, and then finally love. Thanks, hon. That I don't really need this takes anymore. the pressure off. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. We're not going to change it. <laughs>